Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the circulation pump and motor assembly in a Bosch dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a 5/16 inch nut driver, a 5/8 inch open end wrench, torque 20 screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of large pliers, and the hose clamp. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new circulation pump and motor assembly. The circulation pump and motor assembly forces the water throughout the dishwasher spray arms. It operates by the control board. If your dishes come out completely dirty, just the way you loaded them, see if water circulates inside the dishwasher and then check the circulation pump and motor assembly and replace it if needed. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take the two screws on the sides of the base panel out. Remove the base panel. Open the door. Using the torque 20 screwdriver, take out the six screws on the sides that hold the outer door. Close the door and pull the outer panel down and out to remove it. Take the two torque 20 screws out. Free the plastic bracket and remove the inner access panel. Put the towel in the plastic container under the shadow valve just in case of the water will leak down. And then using the 5 8 open-ended wrench, take off the water line. Then using the 5 16 inch nut driver, loosen up the hose clamp and remove the drain hose from the air gap. Be careful, there is still some water inside the hose. Use the container or the towel. Open the dishwasher door and using the Phillips screwdriver, take out two screws that mount the dishwasher to the counter. Pull out the dishwasher from under the counter Remove the torque 20 screw and pull out the side cover on each side of the dishwasher. Remove the hinge links covers, one on each side. Don't lose them, we are going to need them again. Using the pliers, remove the white plastic door cable hooks from the door hinges. Take out the two torque 20 screws in front and two in the back that holds the base to the cabinet. Now we'll get inside the dishwasher. Open the door and pull out the lower dish rack. Remove the lower spray arm by pulling it straight up. Unscrew and remove the filter basket, turning it counterclockwise. Remove the fine filter. Take out the two torque 20 screws that hold the spray arm support to the sump housing. Next, take out two torque 20 screws and remove both sump supports. Close the door and place the dishwasher on its back. Be careful, it's a bit heavy. Make sure you're not putting it on any hoses. Prepare to catch some water. Remove the water inlet to sump hose from the retainer and then pull it out of the sump. Rotate the hose out of the way. Pull the base of the dishwasher cabinet. Remove the drain pump. Press down the locking tab and turn the pump clockwise. 
Be prepared to catch some water. Release the tabs at the bottom of the circulation pump and free it and the sump from the base. Pull out the drain outlet holes from the sump. Remove the sump and the circulation pump assembly and place it on the dishwasher. If the gasket is not clean, Remove it from the sump and wash it. Also, wash the seat in the sump and on the bottom of the dishwasher. Install the clean seal into the sump. The heater assembly and the circulation pump may be held together by a reusable or non-reusable hose clamp. In our case, we use the large pliers to remove the non-reusable clamp. Take a picture of the wire connections and disconnect the wires from the old circulation pump and motor assembly using the pliers. Turn over the pump and motor assembly Pull the circulation pump and the motor assembly from the sump and the heater housing. Remove the pump seal. You may need to use the flat blade screwdriver to pry it off. Remove the two rubber mounting straps. This is the old circulation pump and motor assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Place the seal into the opening in the sump. Place a new hose clamp on the sleeve. Put some liquid soap on the circulation pump ports. Insert the new circulation pump and the motor assembly into the sump and the heater housing. Make sure the hose clamp is on the heater connector. Install the rubber mounting straps. Turn over the pump and motor assembly. Tighten the clamp with the flat blade screwdriver. You might have a different type of clamp, so you might use a quarter inch or 5 16 inch nut drivers. Refer to the picture you took earlier and connect all the wires to the new circulation pump and motor. Place the sump and the circulation pump assembly in. Install the assembly on the dishwasher base and lock the mounting straps on. Connect the sump outlet hose. Push it in all the way. Align the locking tabs and install the drain pump. Turn it counterclockwise to lock in. Push the base in. Watch for the sump and all of the four supports. Make sure that the rubber base is under the sump. Insert the water inlet to some holes and push it in as far as it will go.
slowly lift the dishwasher upright. Secure the base of the dishwasher cabinet with the two torque 20 screws in front and two at the back. Open the door and install two sump supporters and secure them with the two torque 20 screws. Install both Torque 20 spray arm support screws. Then goes the fine filter. Screw in the filter basket, turning it clockwise. Reinstall the lower spray arm by pushing it in until it locks. Make sure it turns free. Slide in the lower dish rack. Using the needle nose pliers, reconnect both door link hooks onto the hinges. Install the link covers. Install the side cover and secure it with a one torque 20 screw. Repeat the procedure on the opposite side. Reinstall the dishwasher on the counter. Let's manually thread on the water line onto the shadow valve and tighten it using 5 8 open ended wrench. Connect the drain hose to the air gap and tighten the clamp with the 5 16 inch nut driver. Install the inner access panel and the plastic bracket and then secure it with the two torque 20 screws. Install the outer door panel. Slide it up and push it in at the bottom. Secure it with the six torque 20 screws on the sides. Install the base panel and secure it with the two Phillips screws. Secure the dishwasher to the countertop with two Phillips screws. Close the door. Turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in, and run it to check for leaks. Hopefully, there is none. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.